everybody, and welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'll be giving you 2024 election predictions from Gretchen Whitmer and Mike Pence. By the time this comes up, it'll probably actually be technically Monday. Um, it's 11.30 right now as I'm filming. Um, so by the time this gets up, it'll probably be like 12-ish. Um, but so I'm just labeling all of Whitmer's safe states. So here we go. And then Pence's safe states, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana. North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska at large in third districts. Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri. Um, actually, well, Missouri is kind of hard to tell. Um, I'm I'm gonna move Missouri down to life, and Indiana is not gonna be safe. Kentucky, West Virginia, Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. So for Whitmer's likely safe zone, I just checked my mic. It's like my knee, my knee, which is in my hoodie. I don't. I got cold coming out of a blanket, so I'm just like putting my legs in my hoodie because I'm wearing a hoodie a lot. Um, which is likely Whitmer's likely state. She gets New Mexico, Virginia, Maine at large. New Hampshire is just gonna be likely. It's gonna be, um, like, um, on the cuff of being, um, on the cuff of being lean, but it's gonna it's gonna go likely, um, just barely. Um, above that, the five percent, and then for Pence's likely states, he gets Nebraska's first, Kansas, Missouri, Indiana, South Carolina, and Alaska. So in New Mexico, I see Whitmer, um, doing well enough with the working class, even though she's probably gonna struggle. Actually, I, c I could see her doing decent with the Hispanic and Latino vote. Um, whereas Pence is not gonna do very well with the white rural vote. In Virginia, Whitmer's going to do well enough in the um, suburbs. Pence is going to really struggle with the rural vote, and Whitmer's going to struggle with the black vote. In New Hampshire, I see Whitmer doing well enough with white rural college-educated voters to the point where it's unlikely. Um, Once again, it's going to be narrowly. It's narrowly going to um, be likely. It's going to be close to being lean, but it will go likely. And Maine's second um, will be probably a little bit to the left. It's pretty inelastic, but in the recent election, it's been a little bit to the left of at least 20 um, 2016 to 2020, um, but it's going to be a few percentage points to the left of New Hampshire, Minnesota, Whitmer's going to do well enough in Minneapolis, she's going to do well enough in the suburbs, and she's going to do well enough with the working class, whereas Pence is going to probably struggle with the rural vote, but Pence is likely to say it's Nebraska's first, Whitmer's going to do well enough in the suburbs, um, Kansas, Pence is going to get, um, l enough, or not get enough rural turnout, Whitmer's going to do well enough, um, in the suburbs, Missouri, Whitmer's going to struggle to turn out voters in St. Louis and Kansas City. Pence is going to struggle to turn out rural voters. But the suburbs will shift enough to the left to the point where it will um, only go to Pence by a likely margin. Indiana, I see Whitmer doing... Well, given the fact that it's Pence's home state, um, it could it could, it could could go up to being likely. Um, but um, overall, if it weren't his home state... I mean, like, he's going to struggle with the rural vote. Whitmer's going to struggle with the black vote. Whitmer's going to do well enough with the working class and do well enough with the, in the suburbs um, that it goes likely. I feel like this is like generally like a trend in the Rust Belt, um, but it may be slightly different since it's his home state. South Carolina, um, Whitmer's going to struggle with the black vote. Pence is going to struggle with the rural vote. Alaska, um, Whitmer's going to do well enough with oil workers. We're going to see more and more Native American voters turning out, shifting it to the left. Um, but I do see Whitmer um, doing well enough with the um, with Native American voters, turning out enough Native American voters to be able to shift it even more to the left, even though she's probably going to do well enough with, the oil, um, with oil workers regardless. For Whitmer's lean state, she gets Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Nevada, Pence is going to struggle with the rural vote. Whitmer's going to do well enough with the Hispanic and Latino vote. Across these entire three states, it's very similar to Indiana. Pence is going to struggle with the rural vote. Whitmer's going to do, um, or struggle with the black vote. But she's going to do very well with the working class and do very well in the suburbs. So that, um, normally her struggles with black voters would hurt her. But given that Pence is also going to get, um, a lot less rural turnout and that suburban voters and the working class would make up a larger share of the electorate. Um, and that Whitmer is going to, or the white working class and suburban voters will likely make up a larger share of the Um, these are two of the demographics that Whitmer's strongest with. It would probably, um, shift the Rust Belt to the left. It's her home state, and I could see her doing well enough. And she carries Michigan likely, but I'm only going to give it to her lean. Prince's lean state tickets to Texas. 
Ohio, and Iowa, and Texas. He's going to get less rural turnout. Whitmer's going to do decent enough for the Hispanic and Latino vote, and she's going to do long, well enough in the suburbs. Ohio. Um, actually, let's just do Iowa. Iowa, I see Whitmer having enough appeal to Obama to Trump voters who are looking for that populist appeal. Um, whereas Pence will likely struggle with rural voters, and I think he's far too established in theory to do well. Whitmer is actually much like Biden, in my view, in the sense that she's more establishment, yet she still has appeal to the working class, which is, it's kind of rare to see in a candidate, but Biden was especially strong because he had, he had appeal in the suburbs as an establishment moderate. He, for whatever reason, had significantly more working class appeal than most Democrats, even being an establishment moderate. Um, but he also had lots of appeal to black voters. So he was, he was a pretty good, he was a, he was a fairly solid candidate. Um, and Whitmer, I think, is Biden-esque. She doesn't, sorry, I just touched my mic with, like, my finger or something. She doesn't have the, the appeal to, um, to black voters that Biden did, but she is Biden-esque in her appeal, which is, or the demographics that she has appealing, which is very weird that she would have, that her most appeal would be within those two demographics. Um, but overall, I see, um, her doing well enough with, the um with populist Obama to Trump voters in Iowa that it um only goes to Pennsylvania and then Ohio, um I think this is actually probably going to vote to the right of Iowa, I I think that it's it's going to be they're going to be pretty similar right I see it voting slightly to the right Pence is going to struggle with the rural vote Whitmer's going to do pretty well with the working class in the suburbs but she's going to struggle with the black vote, um and then for the tilt states Whitmer. It's Georgia. Oh, I'm going to give Pence main second. Actually, I'm going to give it to Whitmer Tilt because I see her having enough populist appeal that she's able to carry it. Pence gets everything else till Arizona. I could see Arizona going to Whitmer. It's it's very, it's definitely possible. Um, but I see Pence just having enough appeal to traditional conservatives in the suburbs. Once again, it's very possible it goes to Whitmer. She could do well enough with traditional conservatives and do well enough with the Hispanic and Latino vote in Georgia. Whitmer's going to struggle with the black vote. Pence is going to struggle with the rural vote. I see Whitmer having enough appeal. I see Whitmer having enough appeal um, in the suburbs. I see. I, I, oversaw, I overall see her having enough appeal to black voters, especially as voting efforts turning out more black voters um, in Atlanta um, with people like Stacey Abrams um, spearheading this. But in Florida, um, Whitmer and Pence are actually both pretty strong for older white voters and for suburban voters. I, I've been talking about how Whitmer's going to do better in the suburbs, and yes, she probably will. But Pence is still a pretty decent suburban candidate. Um, it's just that they're going to continue to shift, and Whitmer is already a pretty strong candidate for the suburbs. But in Florida, um, that's going to be a pretty competitive, or there's going to be two pretty competitive demographics, I think. Um, I think Whitmer is going to do better, probably with the Hispanic Latino vote, but I see Pence just nearly carrying it. I could easily see it going to Whitmer. I just think that Pence has enough appeal to older white voters and enough appeal to suburbanites that he carries it till. And then in North Carolina... Pence is going to struggle with the working class. Whitmer's going to do very well with the working class. Pence is going to struggle with the rural vote. Whitmer's going to struggle with the black vote. Um, I see her doing pretty well in the suburbs, though. Arizona and North Carolina could both easily go to Whitmer. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Stay tuned for my next video tomorrow, um, or significantly later today, but whatever time this is coming out. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please comment your suggestions down below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!